Okay, I'm back out here for a bit. This is the print happening so far. At the moment it's doing the purge between filaments. You can see where it's printed the white in there. All's going fine. There is some fan noise. I'm not sure if it's temperature related because of how hot it is out here if the fan kicks in harder or if it's going to be a, a noise issue for those of you who are in a room. So it's noisier. No ifs and or buts. We can't dodge that. Um, that's an assessment you've got to make. That's it printing there. You can hear the fan kick in when it's actually doing the print. So, um, yeah, you can hear the noise. Make your own assessment. Now, in relation to TPU, etc. Over here is some TPU I was playing with. Um, these are some geckos. Um, initial one here, which is quite stiff. Oh, you can bend it was printed on the 85 then we printed the second one and three skins it's bloody tough um, two skins you start to get flexible great for a kid to scrunch up move to the 85x we can do it in multicolor which is what's happening here now unfortunately what happened was I had some TPE labelled as TPU for the black eyes that's where it jammed and stopped the print so this print didn't finish um, but you can see some interesting things because of that one, when you paint in orca slice or whatever you might think you're only printing the skin with 0% infill what actually happens is these little ridges in the back that go right the way through uh, unless someone wants to get in there and totally redesign and I don't know blender and get rid of these things you just say 0% infill and your colour patch here has come through on the back of these little things so that's just a, a let you know that uh, those who want to take time to hollow it out so it does have some filling inside compared with one like that that's got none um, now as you can see, very, very flexible, uh, great, it's durable, kids will love these, I'm sure, um, and the moment I've got the correct black, I will be printing the full item. There was no issue to hit the black, so I'm confident that 4TPE, uh, sorry, 4TPU will work fine. Um, TPE will be a, a different issue uh, I'd say just stick to TPU make sure you're getting TPU you're not getting someone labeled TPE just for the hell of it because so, they don't want to explain what TPE is versus TPU okay um, yeah so that's a look at flexibles I'm happy with what I see and if the black had worked that would have finished off would have been like that would have been perfect it wasn't to be but we've learnt from it and we've learnt that the TPE and TPU, which we know are not the same, um, are slightly different in how they, how friendly they are towards the uh, IFS here that does all the feeding. So anyway, that gives you an idea. It also lets you hear the noise of this printing, but bearing in mind it's a, it's a 40.6 degrees at the moment um, at uh, half past three. If it's temperature related, that may explain where the fans have kicked in as much as they have. I am seeing a very, very clean print down here though, where you can see the white versus the blue. So I'm very happy with the final outcome. Um, we'll work out how it goes. Waste-wise, it's certainly no worse than the bamboo. I think it is better. How much? I have to print a bit more and, uh, and weigh up and go from there. Now you can hear that fan kicking in when it's actually printing.